What's going on guys? It's Kage here. I'm back from well not having played the game in a while because season six started in League of Legends and Jin came out and a bunch of other stuff like that. But um I'm here just admiring the view. What we're gonna do today let's see. Uh we're gonna do the silver shroud quest, I guess, and then if there's time left over, we will do the next part of the main quest. So, you hear the shooting, that's probably Kate fighting someone down there. There's a bunch of raiders still here. I don't even know why I'm at this location. I guess I just wanted to, um, wanted to see the view. Oh, wait, no, I remember, I remember. I'm here because I got the CB, the, the Caliente. <clears throat> oh god, excuse me. I got the Caliente body mod and I wanted to see if it was working. So I went to kill some raiders and see if their bodies were... Well, female raiders, see if the female raiders' bodies were changed. As weird as that sounds, but yeah, the mod works. Um, I don't have any other mods other than the body mod. And that's simply because... I don't want anything too much until the creation kit comes out. All this stuff is good, but might as well just wait for the creation kit to come out. I mean, there's no reason to get heavily involved in it. So, wait for the creation kit, and that'll be the best bet. But anyway, let's go to Good Neighbor and start the quest. Very rugged vault dweller there. She still has her gun out for some reason. Not sure why. I thought I had Piper with me, but I guess not. Okay. I don't know nothing about nothing. You don't know nothing about nothing. Thanks. Alright, let's find the legend himself, Kent Colony. Connolly. Kent Connolly. There's a poster of himself outside the door. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. No, not at all. Hello. Excuse me. Good neighbors crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Escape? I hear you. <coughs> I guess. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. Oh, I'm... I'm a bit old. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Yeah, something like that. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It's an understatement, man. That's an understatement. Things may look bad, but we gotta try to make it better. <coughs> for you. What man, excuse me, guys. My throat is really... Black trench coat I don't even know. Silver submachine gun. 
I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. Okay. They actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? <laughs> I'll, I'll get, get it. the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? For real, the man. Fell. They were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. <laughs> the bombs fell like 200 years ago. What? A, how could you just assume that the suit would still be there? A lot can happen in 200 years, but... I guess people don't go to the comic book store after... Yeah, no reason to read comics once the apocalypse happens, so... What? Oh, her. Alright. Hubris Comics should be right around here. This one actually shouldn't take too long. I guess we just go grab the suit, come right back. There also might be a, um... Grognak the Barbarian costume in this store as well, if I'm not mistaken. Don't take my word on that, because I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember all the ins and outs and the locations anymore. I should probably talk about what my next plans are, so... Basically, what I want to do is, I want to finish this game off... And then after I finish this, I'm going to play Dark Souls 2 in preparation for Dark Souls 3. So, expect that. I'm, I'm probably going to do my best to talk about the lore from my, from my perspective. Let me know if you I know there's story. already like tons of Souls community guys who do that, but I like Dark Souls, so I figure why not play it. Who gives a shit? Who's already doing it? <laughs> I want to do what I like. And also, I will be playing some Street Fighter. There won't be long, extended plays of Street Fighter. It'll be more like short, quick videos of my matches against... Uh, yeah, of my online matches, basically. Maybe a combo video or two. It depends, really. Suit. There's the goal. Man, third person really sucks inside. Ooh. Sorry, Kate. There's a lot. Do you see the number of red dots we're getting? This is otherworldly. So many of them. She's not a very efficient killer because she takes. She has a minigun and takes forever. Oh, bottle caps. Oh, might as well heal up here. Wrong thing. Get that Mirelurk meat and tar berry. Should be good to go. Oh, you're all healed up on your own, huh? Jangles the... Wait, no, that's not Jangles the Moon Monkey. That's that other thing. 
comic book store terminal. Let's see what's up. Banning. Hanging. Meaning. Yes. Safe control. Disengage. What's this order tracking here? Let's see what this says. Ah, never mind. I don't feel like reading it. <laughs> you guys can look that up on your own time if you really want to know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, uh, it's a novice lock, come on, come on, it's novice, there we go, sweet, anything, oh, the safe, thought I disengaged the safe already. Fusion cell, pre-war money, I guess that. Laser pistols for civilians. <coughs> so from what it seems, a bunch of people hold up. Hold up. Held up in the comic book store after the war, I guess. And that's why... That's why there's so many ghouls in here. this bottle cap okay it's a hole in the wall establishment there I'm sure a lot of people don't even know what that means <laughs> whoa, whoa. You hear that? silver shroud photo I'll take it Kate, you gotta be able to take them out a bit quicker. A bit quicker than that. There's nothing there. Okay. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought I could just come in here, get the suit, and be done, but uh, I guess not. Manager's terminal. What we have here? Nothing, just dates, really. Please, please, please move. Please move. Quantum. First aid right in the bathroom for us. Kate, move, please. Okay, upstairs we go. Suits on the top floor. Another annoying ghoul, that's all. Just ghouls everywhere. More annoying than troublesome.
Riders Terminal. Uh, I guess I'll see what's on it. Nothing just dates again. Since when did comic book stores have a whole entire office? <laughs> What the heck is that? <laughs> oh, she couldn't even see it. Stim pack. Well, the man in the office is not playing around. Enhanced targeting card. He was kind of loaded up there. <laughs> let's, uh, let's play it. Oh, you have to read it. <coughs> as bad as that sounds, I mean. <laughs> I don't mind reading, but I don't feel like reading that. It's not really stem pack, stem pack, mintats, mintats, take all that. Time to have some fun. Where you at? Oh, I did it. That's a glowing one. How do you get out here already? You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's, let's just take care of him. <laughs> Critical strike on Kate and the glowing one. And somehow he wound up on this desk over here. Ammo caps. Whatever you find, don't forget to share. Of course, my dear, of course. If anyone came through here recently. Which means no one's come through here. Fusion still right away. Uh, boosted laser rifle. I can scrap this stuff, so that's not a problem there. Astoundingly awesome tales. I haven't even found the alien blaster. I know it's a random event, so I'm probably my bad SOL on that. Pompadour wig, black room glasses. There's the Grognak costume. Buff out. Electrified Chinese officer sword. I have a real Chinese officer sword. Crumpled fedora, black sweats, another wig, a spine, okay. Very questionable comics here. Ah yes, the silver shroud costume. Belongs to me now, of course. <coughs> There's the prop gun. Fancy that's a Braxo cleaner paintbrush. Let's get out of here, Kate. We journey back to the old sh good old shop. I should be able to fast travel from the roof. I don't feel like going all the way back down the steps. Such a beautiful day in the Boston wasteland. Well, night, evening. Beautiful evening, I should say. Alright, back to Good Neighbor. Fast travel, of course. In combat, the police model of protect, protect Tron 
relies on strong melee attacks and painful electric shock. Police brutality at its finest. So here's what we're going to do. Hit up memory den here. <coughs> Oh man, I don't know what's wrong. Just not a good day for talking, I guess. I chose the wrong day. <laughs> I thought I was fine. I'm not fine. Let's actually command Kate here. Oh, it'll be worth it. I want to see what you look like in the Grognak costume. Plus, it'll be a lot better than what you're currently wearing. Awesome blue baseball bat. Ah, uh, can't have your corset. Better be worth it. Huh? Doesn't look bad on her. It's all yours, Kate. Enjoy it. Let's get a closer look here. Yeah, the costume actually looks really good, and the uh, the new body textures look very clean. And I mean, of course, if a character is dirty, the body texture is still going to be dirty. Like, but I mean, clean. By clean, I mean like good, well executed. But other than that body mod, um, like I said earlier, waiting for the creation costume, kit Kent. and some other goodies you might like. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Here you go, man. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake, but the Shroud is strong, capable. Who gets what the suit? to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the Cryo Vault and all. <laughs> That's nice, um, I'll become the Shroud. You get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Amazing, that armor is really good. It's 4242. Amazing. <clears throat> I wonder if you can um, ballistic weave it. Because if you can, that'll be... Whew, that'll be great. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! <laughs> He's so happy. Bringing, bringing a smile to an old man's face. There's nothing wrong with that. Alright, so, um, let's equip this real quick. What am I currently at? 17, 16, 16, Silver Shroud armor. The Shroud hats. Yeah, basically got rid of everything I had on. I guess it's okay for now. We'll, um... We'll do some fashion. Why not? Let's do fashion. Fashion! Black rim glasses. Man, I look weird. <laughs> Word on the street, he's a suspect. <laughs> yeah, I look really weird. 
very suspicious, but it'll be okay for now. What am I over encumbered? Really? Are you serious? Let's do that. Hey, <coughs> I'm trying to stay clean. <laughs> Oh, Kate, she's so straight edge now. That's cool. Let's talk to the robot here and Every sell some crap. Here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Baby. I've got a few minutes to browse. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Okay. I wonder why they modeled these robots after females. <sighs> Chinese officer's sword. No. A silver submachine gun. I don't like. That's that shit I don't like. Hmm. Let's actually go to a workbench. We're gonna. Head back to Sanctuary. Before the buff out runs out, anyway. Moving target. Wee. Okay, let's hit up the workbench. You'll find what you're looking for. I know it. Or armor bench, what have you. Good craft. We're gonna scrap that. I thought I had a perk that gave me more stuff when I scrapped something, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, it'll be alright. Let's go store the machine gun, because I don't want to have that on me. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I left my power armor in um the castle. I was about to say, where's my power armor? Let's do it this way. Uh, the officer sword. Definitely store that. Not going melee at all. I scrap that gun later. Store that. Uh, and I'll store that too. And we should be good. Excuse me, dogs barking.
Alright, sorry about that. Had to do a little something something. Let's go. We're gonna go talk to Mr. Valentine. University Thanks Point wiped out by since. Alright. Let's talk to Mr. Valentine and then I'm probably gonna end the episode. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh god. It's really you. It's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Metal detective delivery at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. <laughs> Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. If you were looking for heaps of garbage, you're in luck. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. All right. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? And the last portion. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. Hmm. Let's go ahead and um, talk about the most likely choice. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. 
you don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Hmm. <laughs> One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Hmm. Kellogg. Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. All right, so I guess we'll check this out first. Let's take the hat off. The hat. The hat takes away something. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it does. You know. Must be the place. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. It's one heck of a walk. Is it something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Me? <laughs> it's a master lock. something behind. Place seems small to you? Maybe a guy like Kellogg would think big. Hmm.
<coughs> some nice stuff in here actually. Quantum. It's weird he left all this stuff behind, so. Sugar bombs. Still don't see anything very incriminating. Hey, Valentine. Check out what's on that table. Nothing. I don't see anything. Nick, why don't you search that table? Then we'll compare notes. What table? There's nothing in here. Nick. Look at that. All of Kellogg's favorite things. All of Kellogg's favorite things. Hmm. There's nothing in here, man. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing it. Hey, Valentine. Why don't you search that table? Then we'll compare notes. I don't ask for much. You just need a full bottle and some bones to break. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets. Oh, I see. And cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Can't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. 
Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous. But so are you. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Not too much hope. Take the cigar. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's go get dog meat. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Okay. See where he takes us. Out of the city, obviously. Going, man, where you going? San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Okay. Sure, the hunt continues.
I lost my dog. Oh, there he is. Just follow good old dog meat here. <clears throat> Wonder how far we actually have to go. Just a raider. Lost the scent boy. Hmm. Let's check around here. He wasn't blocking the doorway. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? Ugh. <laughs> Hopefully. challenge at all. Wow, death claw too? That's crazy. Now sting wings. Okay, this is actually bad. It's That should be good for us. And then <coughs> do medics. I 
can't see him. Oh, there it is. Wow. Oh, he took the thing away. Gwyneth Stout, one of his creature comforts. Hmm. What do you think, boy? All right. Enough to go on? Dog meat. Sniff out that Gwyneth. Seems like Gwyneth is the equivalent to Guinness. It's got a dark, stout beer. Feral. Actually nice. Huh. Can't see it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's too heavy, actually.
Hmm. Let's use this for a bit. I have too much stuff on me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hmm, this might be another point of interest up here. Extreme <coughs> caution. I'm gonna hear that damn dog barking in me sleep. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. <laughs> Critical signs. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> wow. What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He... killed... us. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Where are we going, dog meat? Where are we going? What do you think, boy? Was this our man? This is not stable. Is 
this the place? Is he in here, boy? Smart little mutt. He led us right to Kellogg. Why don't you have him run off and play so you can start your little reunion? Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello. <laughs> Alright, so, um, Kellogg is inside here, Fort Hagen, I guess. So we find out he's in Fort Hagen. Um, we'll pick up right where this, right after this, on the next one. We'll go inside, confront him, if he's even still alive. So catch you next time. <laughs>